everyone. It's uh, day whatever of the Corona Apocalypse, or is it the Corona Apocalypse? Anyway, so sorry about not um, not uh, talking to you yesterday. That wasn't very nice of me. I kind of forgot what I was doing because I've got this weird sore throat going on. Oh my gosh, there's a crane. I, I, I'm sorry, that I know this is completely irrelevant, but look at that. That's just sort of happening in our back garden right now. How weird is that? Okay, anyway, sorry about that. That was a bit... Anyhow, um, so in England, it's so surreal. We're living in this completely alternate universe, as I'm sure all of you are as well. Uh, as for me, I still have this sore throat. And here's the really bad news. So when we realized we needed to stockpile things everywhere, um, we started checking out uh, our oil because we kind of forget that we have to have oil sent to us and we realize that there's no oil. So we're kind of operating on no heat, um, which is really lame at the moment. It's not terribly cold, uh, but we still have enough oil, I think, to do hot water and they're not coming until Friday. But at least they haven't stopped like everywhere else. So the big issue out here, of course, is um, that they've shut down everything all the cafes, restaurants, things like that are all shut down. And so there's this m massive financial crisis. And we, like everyone else that's self-employed, are facing that same sort of thing. So we don't know what that's going to mean. Unfortunately, we have um, identities and jobs in three countries. And maybe that'll be fortunate. I don't know. Uh, but that also means two mortgages in two separate qu countries to have to cover. So, yeah, it, it, it's all up in the air. Paul's trying to take hold of it, so that's good. We'll let him take hold of it, and I'll just be over here stressing out and making sure I clean. Yesterday, I can't tell you how much I cleaned. I cleaned like a Tasmanian devil on low batteries, because I'm a little bit whacked. Um, just cleaned and cleaned and cleaned, even windows, because, you know, you never know if you should clean. No, just because I've got the energy, and, and uh, yeah, it's something to do. And I'm, because I have a bit of a cough and a cold, I'm just staying in all the time. Now, the actual instruction here is that if anyone's got a cough or high fever, the entire family has to stay in quarantine, like full quarantine for 14 days. But I haven't had any kind of fever. I have a little bit of a, a cough, but it's very, very mucusy. So we're pretending that that rule doesn't apply to us, um, which I think is pretty dodgy, but... Hopefully we'll be able to, yeah, I don't know, get around with it anyway. The other thing that is very interesting is they've put a strong suggestion. They give it as a strong suggestion because it's Britain. They're not going to say you have to do something. Um, that they've given a strong suggestion to anyone with underlying conditions. And of course, Paul has an underlying condition of uncontrolled diabetes. So, so um, of course, his response for they told him that he has to be on a lockdown for 12 weeks. I believe we should get that message on Friday um, and so he's he's like out all day every day at the moment as if that's going to save his life I don't know we're weird nuts anyway so who knows the schools are still in uh, which is kind of good Kieran did this bike ability course so he's um, learned all the ro rules of the road for bikes which is fabulous we're really glad of that because we may just want to go out for bike rides if we can't go anywhere else um, and I'm trying to think, you know, there was a massive stimulus package introduced, but, um, around here, because we live out in the countryside and you don't really see your neighbors that much, um, it actually seems busier than normal. So we see more cars than we have been seeing and the kids are out playing in the cul-de-sac. Kieran doesn't really like them. They have quite foul language and they tend to play rather rough so he doesn't play with them but um so it's almost like the opposite for us because we live out in the country we're seeing more of our neighbors than we've seen in ages and uh and we're all supposed to be kind of home hunkering down the toilet roll issue is massive like getting toilet rolls is just almost impossible paul went yesterday morning like 6 45 i think and uh, there were queues out outside the grocery store still. We haven't found sanitizer for quite a while. Occasionally we'll find someone, just a street vendor, selling them. 
And I always think they don't smell anything like alcohol. So we probably just bought some water, but it makes us feel good, uh, which is just nuts. Um, if I think of anything else interesting, I'll let you know. And I probably will come on again this evening and uh, give you some more updates. I should probably make a list and so it's a bit more interesting than just seeing me and my talking head. Um, but here we are. Well, I guess that's it for my talking head. Five minutes and 25 seconds is a long time. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.